Hello Capricorn, this is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkyreandgem.com. If you can't access that website, um, feel free to email me at allforone.oneforall74 at gmail. All right, guys, let's see what's been going on. This is your card working. That's what you've been doing. I feel like um, maybe there's... I'm, I'm getting this as you guys just strictly working on a job. Not necessarily working with anyone else. I'm feeling like there's something that you're striving towards financially. Um, building on here. Okay. Trying to get to that Ten of Pentacles there. Okay. Working hard too. I'm feeling proud. Let's see what's been going on with them. Four of Wands could be an Aries that you guys um, are thinking about here. I feel like this person is, maybe this person has a roommate. Maybe they've just moved, but I'm feeling like this newfound stability within them. Okay. Um, I feel like they are currently trying to fix up a place, trying to, to um, be happy. Because I'm getting that there's been a lot of instability where they are concerned. Hmm. What's keeping Capricorn from this person? Queen of Cups. Maybe you just want to move on. Okay. Queen of Cups is all about, um, you know, emotions, sharing your emotions, uh, wanting reciprocity, caring for people. But this Queen of Cups is like moving forward. Um, so I don't know if this is you guys energy where you're just wanting to move on and maybe you want someone that shows you the emotions that you show them or you want somebody that is more emotional, maybe maybe less fiery less, um, what is the word? I'm getting unstable because again, you know, what's going, what's been going on for them is a four of wands. there, um, gaining their stability. Okay. Maybe they've been shuffling around a lot. Maybe, you know, there, there's somebody that, you know, they move around a lot physically move around a lot or either they're all over the place and you want somebody that's more stable somebody that's that's willing to compromise with you work with you instead of against you is what i'm getting here okay <clears throat> let's see what's keeping them from you what's keeping them from capricorn what's keeping them from capricorn the will of fortune Now, this could be that this person has just gotten married or has just gotten involved in a relationship. Um, but this could also be, for some of you, the fact that this person feels like you guys have been in a cycle that maybe, you know, nothing has changed. Um, it's like the same old, same old whenever, maybe this is a situation where you guys, you know, you break up to make up a lot and they feel like there's nothing that's really going to change in this situation. Like you keep repeating the same things over and over and over again. Okay. Um, but I do feel like, this this person probably probably was meant to be your life partner, but being that we have free will, um, there's always a choice in the matter. But um, there is definitely a cycle that's at play here. Okay, karmic cycle. Um, karma is keeping them away from you. So whatever's happening right now, this is meant to happen. Okay. 
there's something, there's a lesson that needs to be learned here between the two of you. Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. It's currently going on for Capricorn. Currently going on for Capricorn. The Emperor standing in your power. I get that there's a lot that um, that you still think about. I think that you're learning a lot about yourself through your past experiences with this individual. You're learning, um, you know, not to let people cross your boundaries. Okay. When to make a move and when to just be still. Because sometimes we, we need to know when to be still. And I'm getting that you're learning that. You you get that. Okay. Um, maybe an Aries individual that's significant for you with maybe cancer in their chart here. For sure. Hmm. I get that they're still very present in your energy. Very much so. What's currently going on for them? The lovers. They're deciding something here. They're deciding something here. This is either them deciding to be with someone Or deciding not to. One of the two. I don't really get that. Some of you guys may be with this individual. And they're currently trying to decide between you and someone else. Or trying to decide whether or not to to leave this relationship because you know they want to be happy but for most of you I'm getting that you're not with this person that <clears throat> they may indeed be with someone else they may be even married to someone else or in a committed relationship that they're deciding on currently with this lover's energy so it could be that the person that they're with, they're trying to decide whether or not to stay with them or whether, whether or not they want to be by themselves or even whether they, excuse me, sorry, um, or whether they want to come towards you. There, there's something they're currently deciding on here with this lover's energy. Hmm. What's influencing Capricorn? Five of Cups. There's something that you guys are feeling regretful about. Either you're feeling regretful about something. Maybe you guys wanted to reconnect. Maybe you were trying to compromise and work with someone that decided to move on. And now a lot of you are feeling like this is a missed opportunity. Like there is no reconnecting that the love, the, the connection between the two of you is gone, but it's not. It's not. It's not gone. The Scorpio energy there. Mm -mm. Because I see this person still behind you. This Queen of Cups. They still have a cup extended. I don't know what happened here, but let's see what's influencing them. The King of Swords. I'm getting that you guys. They feel like you guys have turned your back. They feel like all you care about is your job, whatever it is that you do. Maybe maybe some of you guys are lawyers or um, judges or police officers. Um, 
but they feel like there's a lack of emotion where you're concerned that maybe you come across, um, you know, kind of aloof and removed emotionally. Hmm. What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in for Capricorn? Six of Cups. Somebody from the past. Hmm. Somebody from the past. Scorpio energy there. reconciling again I see the will of fortune here it's like the card of you know the husband this this person I believe was meant to be your person for the duration I feel like you know there's an energy of coming back especially with this retrograde bringing people back um because they're definitely here you know making a choice here deciding on something Gemini energy What's coming in for them? Five of Swords. Aquarius. You guys may be on um, the cusp here with Aquarius. Because I'm getting that... Somebody wants to fight for the other person. Somebody wants to, there's three people in this card. I don't know if there's a clear on that. There's three people there, but what I'm getting is that somebody wants to fight and, um, and eliminate the third party situation. Eliminate a third person that's involved here. And this is not the Five of Swords where it's like, you know, somebody's actually winning and, you know, somebody else feels down in the dumps and feels like they've been hurt to all be damned. This, this is people working things out amicably. So I'm getting that somebody's going to make a decision here to fight for a connection. And in fighting for the connection, they make a choice between two people. Hmm. What's the advice for Capricorn? Wow. Decide what you want to do. Decide what you want to do. This is also hearing the call, looking in the mirror to see, you know, are you happy with what you see? Are you happy with what you have done thus far? If not, this is the opportunity to change some things up. Okay. Strong Scorpio energy. And a cluster right there with the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, Judgment. Queen of Cups is usually Cancer, but I'm feeling more, you know, Scorpionic energy right now. Aries. Aquarius. Gemini. What's advice for them? Page of Pentacles. Are we in or are we out? I'm trying to turn that so you can see it. Deciding whether they want to start over again to invest the time and energy in this situation or not. To figure out what they want to do. Because they can't have two people. You can't have it both ways. You have to make a choice here. Decide what you want to fight for. Decide what they want to fight for, rather. Mm-hmm. What is the outcome for Capricorn here? Outcome for Capricorn. Temperance. Mm, I like it. This is 
balance and harmony, reuniting, balancing the actions with the emotions, showing that you care for somebody, showing that you want to work it out. Showing that you want this balance and harmony between the two of you. That is the outcome right there beside judgment. I love it. That is definitely reuniting here with the Six of Cups being up there. The Four of Wands is here. The Lovers is here. This connection is something else. Let me just tell you that. Okay. Four of Wands to me is a gateway. It's an opportunity. It is with the Wheel of Fortune right there beside it. There's an opportunity for you guys to be truly, truly happy here. It's the outcome for them. Death. Ending something here. I'm trying to tell you. I love it. Scorpio again. This person is, is going to, to transform some energy. Okay. They're going to end something here. Whether it's a relationship that they know they really don't want to be be in um, and, you know, come towards you. If they're not coming, there are no wands here, though, other than the four of wands. And that's a very stable energy. There are no wands um, in your lines either. So I don't see anything happening like really soon, but there is definitely an ending ensuing um, in the other individual's life. There is change coming. Okay. So if you guys know for sure that this person is in a commitment um, or is married to someone, I, I see that something is, is changing in this situation. Change is coming. Okay, so I think I already called out the signs for you guys, and um, that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.